Hello everybody, Lord Redstone here, and I wanted to show you guys my Dragon Hunger Games map. Uh, Greek Athens Dragon Hunger Games map. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice at nighttime. I got my volcano, my spawn point up top, black dragon, ice dragon, or fire dragon, ice dragon, however you want to put it. After 500 likes or 100 subscribers, I will be releasing this download for the PS3. You can upload it yourself to your PS4. They do not lag on either one. And I have redstone throughout this entire place. Let me uh, go to sleep, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks during the daytime. All right. Now, people really love this world for the dragons, but I have a lot more in this world besides just dragons. Nice little redstone toys. And, of course, like I said, no lag. You can play with eight people. On the PS4 alone, I've had eight people in this world, but on the PS3, I had four people in this world and never had a problem talking or communicating. No lag whatsoever. No one ever got booted. But all of this world was built 99% by me. I had a couple of people come in and help me with the platforms and such. The spawn up there is very special. It drops everyone down on a water blade safe drop. Everybody likes that. And down below I got a water puddle for everyone to land in. And I'm going to build the pods. I have not built the pods yet. I've been working on the visual aspect. The train track is here for players who have finished the match and just wish to continue staying in the lobby until the next run. So they get on the train track and ride around and enjoy the scenery. My griffin took a day to build and I built it with uh, the statue of Athena that I have. At the very front of the Athens, you see the claws down there. It looks very, very good, I think. That right there is a shrine to Zeus. Zeus's symbol back in the uh, Greek days where it was an eagle. So I chose to put an eagle on his medallion up here as best as I could make one. All of the architecture was designed by me. Train track. This here is my volcano. Yeah. Let's do this right now. Press the volcano button and uh, show you guys what it looks like after it erupts. I have a couple of Easter eggs embed embedded into this map. And uh, it's up to you to find all of them. I'm not going to show you. You make fun with this map either which way you want. You will be the one to set the rules. All that TNT explodes. Very nice. Very, very nice. All the moss was put down the side of the mountain by me. Right there. All around it. It's all around the front of the cliff. Every tree, every shrub was placed by me. All the vines and moss hanging from the mountain right there, you see all of that I placed down there. And, uh, of course, every one of these buildings were designed and placed by me. The hidden chests. All around I have some in the walls and some in the floor this also doubles as a death trap to anyone unfortunate enough to fall in this Hunger Games map is not as cut and dry as you're used to yeah I planned it to be a little more adventurous put it that way and then you press that button and you wonder what door did it open up? I didn't hear anything. Well, you have to look for it. Yeah, it's up here. I'm not going to spoil every chest in the game. I just want to show you a few. Yeah. 
And you can also close the doors like this, of course. See, that way if someone presses the button and was like, I didn't hear anything. Well, they press the button twice and the door closes, so you surely aren't going to find it now. Uh, there's one over here. Um, it's in the corner. Let's show it to you. I put the redstone torch there to remind me where it was. Press that button. And voila. There's the chest. It opens up. Let's go press the button again and close it. I put them just far enough away to where you wouldn't hear the pistons moving the door. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I got one right here. Press that button. Where's it at? Right there. Put one in here. People have to look for the buttons. That way. And I have one more chest I'd like to show you. It's over here. I put a little bit of work into this one. Press the button. And the waterfall stops and the doors open. Go press the button again. The waterfall restarts and the doors are closed. There's my statue of Athena. It's uh, politically correct, although not too anatomically correct. <laughs> Am I right? It's a copy of the one at the Parthenon. But uh, yeah, I put all of this work in and I spent a lot of time on this map. I also have a little ender chest over here for people to put their stuff in. Just in case you, you feel you may die. This is going to be a multiple life Hunger Games map. I figure three should be the norm. A little bridge that goes across my water right there. But yeah, if you like this map, please leave a like down below. After 100 subscribers or 500 likes, I will release this map to the public. Thank you you have a great day i am lord redstone until next time see you later